guys. Just doing another one of these power videos. <laughs> this has been, I don't know what the heck is going on. Been like this last week. That's why I planned on, uh, I planned on doing a little bit of the simulator for y'all. But uh, just the, the weather's been so freaking unpredictable. Anybody out there that doesn't think that uh, you can get snow at 40 degrees, this is uh, this is solid proof. <laughs> we're down at uh, we're 38 now, and I came in about an hour and a half ago. Partner just switched off. It was uh, 42 degrees. We came in here because the road was covered. We're like, yeah, okay. Well, it's covering, and it's. Uh, it's covering well. <laughs> it, it's not even, it, they call this ore frost, which is new to me on nights. Mornings, we never really, never really dealt with it too, too much. Because, you know, it, when it snowed, it, it snowed. It, it wasn't, uh, yeah, never, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, the amount of cold weather we've had or the amount of humidity in the air. But they call it uh, or frost, but it's been falling all day, and uh, it's, it's pretty freaking, pretty annoying stuff. The weather, or the uh, what do I use? I use I've got Snowdar or some crap like that. It's like a Doppler system, and then I've got uh, Weather Underground. And, you know, it's, it's saying it's freaking 40 degrees and there's not a cloud in the sky. We've got this going on, so. Just thought it'd be kind of cool, of course, to get a little bit of snow plowing action for you guys. I really wish I could have uh, could have got the first run going, but, you know, like I said, this is, this is after, uh, after my swap partner there, uh, had already been through not even an hour and a half ago, so. Sunday night. Got to see the wife and kids for a total of two hours today. Woke up, and as soon as I freaking woke up, made a pot of coffee, phone rang. So. And yesterday was the same thing. Of course, I had my, uh, I had a big test yesterday for another job. And then after I got done with that test, I had to drive through here. And I had somebody in the guardrails and the roads were pretty much covered like this. So I called up the supervisor and you know, see if we already had a truck on the road. And if not, let them know that I was gonna be putting a truck on the road. And uh, it, it's just been, it's been this weird, like I said, more frost or whatever the heck it is there's so much humidity and it, it freezes up above and turns to snow and this is what happens. But I've never had uh, 40 degree snow before so. But she's, she's coming off pretty decent. It's just it's a matter of when this decides to stop now that we'll be able to go home because usually with uh, temperatures over, I don't know, 22 to 24 degrees, you put a little bit of salt to it, you scrape it. Usually the uh, the warmth of the air, unless it's, you know, under 22 degrees, they usually do the rest of the work for you, so. But with this stuff, it's just, uh, we're just wearing blades off the truck. Doesn't, uh, it doesn't really bond to the road much. So when we're scraping it, it, the blade smells like, and you get a smell when you're scraping asphalt with blades, obviously people people out there that have plowed a little bit kind of, I'm sure, get, the, get that smell. It's kind of like a tar and a, a metallic-y smell. It, it reeks. Um, but uh, I'm getting that smell the whole time I'm plowing, so. You know, it's not, it's definitely not good for the blades. Just 
probably after two days of plowing this stuff, we'll probably have to go ahead and do a blade change on them. I haven't looked at them yet, so. <coughs> but I figured the old YouTube's been neglected here. Actually, I gotta go back on YouTube because I might have another uh, another simulator video on there that I didn't even upload yet. So I know I had a couple of them on the uh, the waiting bar, and I didn't want to put them, you know, four or five videos in the same day. It's usually, they don't get crap for views when you do that. <coughs> It'll be a long one. We 
guys that don't. <laughs> Bye. Six degrees. Usually that runs a little bit warm though with that pile of oil. When you're driving down the road, you'll be on like a 20 degree day with the pile up in the air just doing the salt around. It'll say it's 80 degrees out, but it's usually not too off when the plow's down and it's actually getting some fresh air in there. It says right now it's at 37, 30, 36, 37 degrees. Of course, we're going up in elevation as well, so to see the snow pick up a little bit. The temperature's gonna drop. It's usually where we use a little bit more salt. Thing I was saying. 
Oh, if Twitch doesn't run good for you, you know, that's that's the other thing. I get a lot of comments on people that want to uh, support me over on Twitch as well, but they say that Twitch doesn't, doesn't work uh, well for them. And that's, that's something on Twitch that uh, quite a bit of people have an issue with. Uh, luckily, I'm not one of them, but uh, that, that issue is known. So I do apologize if Twitch isn't a uh, platform y'all can use or whatnot, but like I said, right now, the Twitch has been great. We get a lot of new new eyes in there, uh, a lot of older older fellas coming over from the YouTube, so that's been wonderful. Pleasure space, five seconds. What do you got going on up here? Down in the lake there. Well, my deputy monitoring down here. The lights have got parts of the light on. They had a big old. Ledger stage 5712. They had a big roll over there earlier. This is really taking everybody in the county. Everybody in the county kind of by surprise because it's just it just hit at the worst possible time. You know we've had a had a good week. We had a couple a couple little snow squalls come through. Have to clean everything up. But, I mean everybody was really in the process of getting ready for this big storm coming this week. So the trucks weren't really I'm not going to say prepared. They were prepared, but they just weren't ready. weren't ready to be uh, called. Luckily, it wasn't a uh, two o'clock in the morning call either. You know, it was a six o'clock in the morning instead, so it wasn't the opposite uh, time for me. And lately, that's when I've been going to bed is right around one, two o'clock. So. with your eyes you don't right? you never really know where the line lane is or the yellow line but uh tonight i don't know if it's the wheel ruts or the way this road's been plowed but uh just don't feel like i'm on that yellow line much usually you get a little bit of a feeling in your butt in the seat when you got you know because there's there's a crowd on the road it almost is like a triangle and the, uh, the right lane is on the decline, and the, well, they're both on the decline, but the, the yellow line is kind of like the peak of the triangle. So if I go over that yellow line with a plow, yeah, a lot of times it doesn't clean because it'll be on the decline. So if the right of the plow is on the decline, the left of the plow is on the incline. You go over that yellow line, and uh, you know, the, the, the nose of that plow will be on the decline, so you won't be scraping. So that's why you try to keep it on the yellow when you're doing your first shove back, and then on your second, you're, you're fine because your plow is in the middle of the lane and your wing is on the shoulder. And usually I'm pretty good just by looking at shoulders. Right in the middle, in between them both. And that's why. That's where I. Uh, that's what I shoot for. That's what I try to keep staying looking at. But like right now, I'm doing the shoulder, and I should be over here in the middle. So I, there is there is a little bit of a well. There's a lot of feel to this this job when you're sleeping. That feel can go away in a hurry. So.
does the rest. Come on, wait, what's going on here? Trying to make up a little bit of mileage 
We're hitting it pretty hard this morning trying to get the, uh, the salt to the salt to the road. So the spinner has got like a uh, it's almost like a knob on a, a dishwasher or whatever the hell you like a burner on a stove. You know how you got your uh, your off, your one, two, three, all the way to ten. That's basically what we've got here for for the salt, and that's all digital on the screen. Well, all we do is twist that knob a little bit, and usually on dry roads, I'll run it right around eight eight percent. Which I don't know if I don't believe it has anything to do with the speed, like per se. I, I think it's a percentage of the speed. You put the thing to a hundred. If you've got uh, salt coming out of it, it'll welch you. I know that. I've had that happen. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel very good across the shins, I'll tell you that much. Um, but the yeah. best, best way for you to tell is on a nice sunny day, and we got a lot of drifting, and uh, you'll be out there on a black, black road, and then you run across the drifting spot. You'll hit it with uh, some salt, and you'll watch behind you. At what what your spread width is so I, I know with the heavy snow I run running right around 18 to 22 percent on the spinner speed in this type of weather I'll run anywhere from 15 to 13 and then on dry to wet roads I'll run anywhere from three to eight on my spinner speed so that, there's there's quite a bit to it but there's really not in a sense once you once you I mean Probably, probably your first week in one of these trucks. I'd say a day, but I remember the first day I got into these things, and I was freaking. I was a little nervous, Nelly, to be honest with you. Uh, so after a good week, you, you'll be uh, pretty proficient with how everything works and where you want to run things at, that type of deal. But. Uh, A lot of the issues that we have is salt up where I am. The road salt ends up getting into the groundwater and uh, doesn't do very well with wells. So we, we actually cannot wash our vehicles at our shop. Uh, we've got we to tank our water in, believe it or not. So we don't have really, we've got running water at the shop, but as long as we have a tank, Got a thousand gallon water tank in the back of the shop, and that's what we uh, that's what we use to clean dishes with, you know, um, do this, that, or the other thing. It's just it's not drinkable stuff because it's trailered in. And yeah, so we, we have to uh, actually drive the vehicle to a different shop that doesn't have salt contamination. And uh, wash it there. Believe it or not.
right. We had another one getting to the guardrails a couple days ago up here on the left. And then yesterday we had another guy after this turn get into the guardrails. That was actually what dictated them. Or that was actually what told me nobody had been on the freaking road calling the supervisor and get out here. After I see the guardrail hit up here after this next corner, not this one, but the next one. Okay, we had a lady, a 
like I said, it was either, I think it was last week or week before. She was doing 75, 80. Okay, and if you guys can see up here, you got a school bus stop ahead, and then the uh, handicap sign. She put that car in between the yellow Redford sign and that uh, first Chevron. She put it in between there, and you, well, you guys can see the guardrails probably there. The guardrails, she just just barely clipped them. She jumped that car, had to be 15, 20 feet off the ground. She broke off a bunch of a bunch of dead dead tops of trees. Well, there's there's the river. About three, two to three hundred. It's almost a football field. I'd say, well, maybe a half a football field, about 150, 200 feet down. She jumped that car straight right there. She never took the left-hand turn. She ended up passing out. She had low blood sugar apparently. Uh, she passed out. Ended up hitting that turn, but never hit the turn. She went straight, jumped over that whole thing, ended up hitting the ice so hard, the car went through the ice, came back out, and landed on all four. She woke up, somehow walked across the ice, got to shore, and then walked up the freaking hill and called for an ambulance. Absolutely incredible. The car car was freaking mangled. All four wheels were just about off the it was, I can't I don't I don't understand how the frick she survived let alone freaking walked out of the vehicle. Completely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've seen a lot less of wrecks and the people did make it, you know it, it is absolutely I I'm boggled by it. But that was uh that was basically what the star was linked up to on the uh, the guardrails. <coughs> and why when you see guardrails, you know you look over here to the right, we got three foot snow banks. Uh, of course we don't have any guardrails in front of us, but we had to we had to go through and take a loader and clean out all the guardrails because of that incident that she jumped them guardrails. Of course, she hit the snow bank that was before from the town cleaning the road off. So, you know, it, it's arguable if the guardrail would have done anything, seeing how the town put such a, 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 a spillage or whatever the hell you want to call it in the road that it was a jump. <clears throat> Either way, so we had to uh, take all week there, and past two weeks, whatever the hell it's been, get all the all the snow from the guardrails and that type of stuff. So either way, long-winded, long-winded story, long-winded video. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. The ones that uh, did make it this far in, and uh, hopefully I can get some more content for y'all. Thanks, guys.